Is privatization one of the possible forms of this emancipation of civil society from the grip of the party? Yes, it means that if you uh, get your own company uh, and you get a lot of money, then you, you, in a sense, become independent. Of course, not totally. And that is uh, an interesting problem because you, don't, uh, you are still dependent in growing on the state or on the police or on the even secret police. So you must behave in a sense. But, and that is a problem. How far you can go owning your own private company politically? How, can you, how far you can get engaged and so on? Not to make them uh, make a move against you. Uh, by police or by financial services or so on, fiscal services. But still, if you have a lot of money, then you become independent. Uh, when some group of people creates a company or something, they become independent. And it, the present situation, in the present state of Polish economy, uh, state must be very um, cautious um, if it wants to stop such a, an independence because it desperately needs anybody who can do something, produce something, produce anything, practically. Uh, so I think it is important, al although in a communist state uh, it never can be the main way. You cannot privatize uh, as big uh, things like Nova Huta or Huta Katowice or things like that. It is just unimaginable and then nobody would buy them because they are <laughs> just simply bringing enormous deficits. So that must be a crazy. But still, uh, this way is one of the most important now, not only in economy. I would say a kind of, pre we want at least uh, to launch a campaign of making your own life, taking your own life in your own hands, which means uh, privatization of the state-owned, all bookseller shops are state-owned in Poland. Why not change that into the privately owned bookseller shops? They would be much better, much cheaper and so on. And uh, so to... Um, but they would the still be selling state books. State books, but then you can make a choice. You can buy in, uh, books by, published by this editor and not buy books published by another editor. Buy these books and not buy that books. And that would mean that some books circulate because they are good, others don't, and so on. Uh, it would also be a privatization, this uh, thing about theater and whole culture. But it, not, it doesn't concern only culture, it also concerns schools. I'm very much uh, for uh, small private schools for uh, beginning uh, mm, children. My daughter uh, actually is going to the school this year and there is a possibility that she'll have to go either at 7 in the morning, at 12 or at 5 in the afternoon because the school is so full up. So I, I've proposed to parents around here that we create a private school for 10 children. We pay amount which is not very big, but I don't want her to go at 7 o'clock in the morning. That would be also privatization in this sense. How far do you think that this pressure, this principle of privatization get a roll, can roll back? I think quite far, far if they accept church also, because church wants to do a lot uh, in the job of all social security, houses for all grown, for old people and so on, which are in the awful state now in Poland. And if they accept associations, because you cannot do all of those things alone. If you create association for better education of small children, for example, then we can do it together. Uh, me alone, I cannot do that. So if they accept that, are they ready to accept that? I would say half. They are ready because of the real pressures, and they are also afraid of that. Why is this retreat of the party in Poland possible? Is Poland an exception, or is this the future of the whole Soviet bloc? You know, I don't know about the future, but I would say Poland is in a kind of uh, an exception because of two reasons. First of all, solidarity. Solidarity uh, created an amount of publicly-minded people that never existed in any other socialist country since at least 30 years. Uh, the older traditions were lost, and, but now in Poland, I, don't, I wouldn't say everybody, but every educated man that is uh, younger than 50 has somehow had something to do with solidarity. And that means that they uh, are publicly-spirited. 
That is one. The second thing is that party has no positive proposition. Having no positive proposition, they, it means that they are in a sense totally passive. And the only not passive uh, idea is economy, how to change economy. So if you do something for the economy, it's quite difficult to say that you are against the regime. Uh, that has created a very strange situation in which a party is not perhaps in retreat, but is, has to accept some social or even opposition propositions from the opposition. And, for example, just recently, party has announced a program of uh, economic reforms, and then Solidarity announced a program of economic reforms. If you compare them, they are really 90% the same. Uh, because what else can be done in a specific situation? There are only these things that can be done. To do them, that is really a problem. And the retreat of the party is a very dif different thing from the retreat of the people of the party. And that probably would be the main problem in the future. How far all informal connections of party people with uh, managers of big enterprises, of, with people who are doing changes on the private, on the opposition side, or on the official side, how strong this influence of this informal um, mafia kind of party uh, importance is going to be. And that would be a very difficult thing to change. So I would say Poland is exception because of two things, because of solidarity and because of, of misery. Um, they both somehow accidentally, in a sense, connect now to create this uh, strange situation in which quite a lot is possible. And there are, there is a new generation of people, uh, 15 years ago, for example, I didn't know anybody who had a pr private enterprise. Now I know at least 15 people. Because in this kind of milieu, let's say intellectual or intelligentsia milieu, it was not, it was supposed not to be fashionable to have a private enterprise. Now it is fashionable to gain money, which is an enormous change after, and that is the third factor. After solidarity, after misery, I would say also a kind of liberal Western influences. So many people traveled abroad and have seen that abroad it is quite a normal thing to gain money as much as you can. So uh, now they uh, try to do the same thing. Uh, this perhaps often superficial, but Westernization is also an important factor. People don't want anymore to be dependent on somebody. They even prefer to be independent and have less money, which is not very often, than to be salaried but, but be dependent.